Hi, my name's Adrian Rollins. Welcome to AMA TV. Today we're talking with Dr. Steve Hamilton, AMA President. Scenes of uh, violence in uh, some of our major cities during the uh, Christmas New Year holiday period has sparked a, a re-examination of the role of alcohol in our society. One of the aspects of this is a debate about the ability of alcohol companies to promote their products during live, live broadcasts of sporting events before 8.30 at night, ex you know, potentially exposing young people to, to their, their products. Uh, how does the AMA view this loophole, apparent loophole, in the uh, advertising regulations? Look, alcohol is built into our society and the effects of alcohol are, are quite enormous. Uh, we actually tend to think that um, alcohol problems are only occurring to those who are either dependent on alcohol or who are alcoholics. But really it's more likely it's about 30% of adults who misuse alcohol at any particular time. And the effects are quite enormous. You know, breast cancer, heart attacks, um, sexually transmitted diseases, motor vehicle accidents, trauma, um, uh, alcohol-related violence. You know, and we have a problem we need to think about uh, fixing in this country. Uh, one of the exemptions that is obviously not working and obviously exposing our young people to alcohol images and those very positive images is the exemption that allows uh, live to air sports to run alcohol advertising before 8.30 p.m. And, you know, that's a, it's like uh, driving a truck through the regulations. You know, the, clearly the target audience to recruit the next generation is people below the age of 18. It's a very powerful image. You've got uh, alcohol mixed with sport, high profile, highly uh, uh, revered sporting individuals. And so that link is really powerful, really strong, and uh, it, it is leading to uh, people thinking about alcohol, people experimenting with alcohol, uh, and the reality is we know this is true. If you're exposed to alcohol advertising, you're the ones that will actually do the experimenting. If you experiment early, you're likely to drink more. If you drink more as an underage person, you'll, you'll drink more as an adult. Um, you know, it's highly profitable to expose young people for alcohol companies. They have a strong perverse incentive to fight this tooth and nail and uh, the reality is we as a community need to do something about it. That's one thing we can do, which would be dead easy to do. Uh, it would make a significant change. It's clear that not one thing alone will make a difference, but that's a particular one where there's an obvious problem.